Hey guys, what's up? Today we're continuing work on the Lexus GX470 straight axle project. In our last episode we got the front of the truck, like all the suspension parts cut off of it, all the cross members and pieces like that. And then um, in this episode we're going to finish grinding the driver's side of the frame smooth and then we're going to move on to the rear of the frame. We're going to cut off its rear uh, link mounts and uh, its rear cross member for its pan hard bar and the factory cross member for the spare tire. That, that's all that's for, so it's not really a structural integral item. Plus we need all those things out of our way when we're putting the link system in back there. And as we're prototyping the Cougar House Fab four link kit for the rear and the three link kit for the front of it. So we're going to get started today and we're going to get that uh, driver's, or dri driver's side of the frame all clean, move on to the rear, get all the stuff plasma cut off, and then start cleaning all of it with 40, get, with 40 grit flat bisque. So let's get started guys. Alright guys, back on the Lexus this morning. We got the whole front side of the frame cleaned off yesterday. And then we started plasma cutting. We got the bump stop off, some of the shock tower off. Then we have to get the rest of the uh, cross, the rear cross member for the old spare tire, factory spare tire, the cross member for the pan hard, and then we're gonna clean off the tube cross member and leave it just in case we need to pull it off for anything specific for like the link bars being go, go, going up in there but on my tan one I left it so I think we're gonna leave that one too so we'll blast all the uh, brackets off that get it clean and then uh, we'll get all these surfaces ground down with 40 with uh, 40 grit flap disc so we got a plasma cut the other side still and then uh, we'll get that all smooth we'll pull the drive line <coughs> excuse me we'll pull the drive line and then uh, we'll probably pull the transfer case too, but I'm not sure if we'll get as far as pulling the drive line transfer case today, but let's get into this and let's get this all cleaned up and prepped for fabrication.
guys, back on the Lexus this morning. Yesterday we left off on plasma cutting the outer pieces off the shock mount and the factory bump stock mount. And then we got the plasma cut off. The round cross member, the spare tire cross member, and then we cut a bunch of around the pan hard cross member. We'll get it fully taken off here and then we'll get um, everything ground smooth with 40 grit flap disc and then we'll move on to placing the axles so we can take some measurements for our um, cradle and for our long arms. So let's get started. Alright guys, we got a whole bunch of the passenger side of, of the frame ground smooth and ready and we're ready to move on the, or no, we got the driver's side done, we're getting ready to move on the passenger side. But now we got to take off all the cladding. Jonathan requested it to this panel, this panel, and that panel, and then we'll come to all the little squares that from the plugs where they come out and then we'll have to use some panel bonding adhesive and some little pieces of metal to seal those up and then uh, body work on the outside but that's up to Jonathan to know how far we, we do that but at least we'll get these peeled and then we'll seal up the inside with little pieces of metal and uh, 3M panel bond adhesive but then past that we'll see what Jonathan wants us to do but I'm gonna go ahead and get these pulled while um, Paul is grinding the frame smooth
Alright guys, this morning, still working on the Lexus here, well it's day four or five, I forget. We've only been working on it like two or three hours a day here, except that first day we worked on it until like 10.30 at night. But alright, we gotta get this part of the frame where the factory shock mount OEM bump stop were. Take off all that excess material there, grind that smooth with 40 grit flap disc. And then do the underside there, you can see on the other side of the frame there. Do that on both sides and then we'll be prepped for fabrication. We can uh, place the axles under the truck, pull the transfer case, and then start designing up its cradle. So let's get started, guys. We'll pull up the 40 grit flap discs on the Milwaukee angle grinder and get this clean. Let's do it. All right guys, Justin's got the outside of the frame clean, except that upper piece you guys could see there that's just kind of, you know. But we're gonna cut this whole wheel well out when we extend the wheelbase back and we're gonna bring the front axle forward and we're gonna trim that wheel well so it's gonna need custom wheel tubs. So we'll get that top piece when we do that. But um, we're Justin's gonna sweep up here and then we're gonna climb, he's gonna climb underneath the Lexus and then he's gonna grind those under pieces for the rear cross members un underneath the frame here and then we'll, we'll be done and we'll be able to place the axles. Alright guys, so we ran out of flap disc. We worked until we just ran out of them. We got the passenger side of the frame cleaned here. It's just that underside of the frame that we got to finish up. So when some homies get here in a little bit, we'll place the front and rear 08 Super Duty axles and we'll get an idea 
of um, you know our wheelbase. And then in the next episode here, Jonathan um, he shipped over some trail ready 17 inch beadlocks. He didn't want to go with 20 inch like I got on my foreigner. And then he's got um, he's ordering up some sort of Goodyears that are going to be a 40 13 five. He didn't want, want, want to go 15 five. I'm not sure why. But uh, so he's he's going to get those sent over to us, and then we'll be able to get those on the axles, and we'll figure out that'll give give us axle height, and then we can go from there to design the cradle, set up our wheelbase and start fabricating then. So, all right guys, we'll catch you guys in a little bit in the homing show up and we'll place these axles. All right, guys, that was a lot of work on that GX470. We got, we finished up the driver's side, got that side of the frame ground smooth, and then we moved on to the rear of the frame to cut off the, the lower trailing arm mounts, the upper trailing arm mounts, and its cross member, the pan hard cross member, and the cross member for the uh, spare tire. So we got those all cut out, and then we got the um, rear of the frame on the driver's side and the outside ground smooth. We got the outer shock tower, and factory bump stop cut off and then we moved on to the passenger side did the same thing got that side of the frame ground smooth and then we worked till we ran out of flat disc today it's been it's been like five days of work on that truck we've been only the first day we worked like eight hours and the um, other few days we only worked like three hours a day so that's why it's taken a couple days to do it but we've been doing other things you know so all right so in the next episode here well duh, we also got the axles placed underneath the truck so we're ready for when the trail ready wheels show up and the eight and the uh, a Goodyear 40s. I think we're going to do a, a 40 by 13 five is what Jonathan wants to do. And then he decided to go with a 17 inch trail ready instead of a 20 like I did on my tan foreigner. So when those show up, we'll be able to mount the tires onto the wheels, throw those on the axles, and then we'll be able to place them at axle height. And then we can start uh, figuring out wheelbase and designing up our cradle then and making link arms. But all right, guys, until then, we'll catch you guys in the next episode. Please drop a comment. Let us know what you think of the Lexus. And if you guys like what we do, you like Cougar House Garage, uh, hit those uh, that bell button so you guys get the notifications at the top of your screen there. So anytime I upload a video, you guys get the notification of fresh videos up. And if you guys like Cougar House Garage, you like what we do, hit us up at uh, cougarhousegarage.com. Hit us up at Facebook forward slash Cougar House Garage, and then we are Cougar House Garage on Instagram, guys. Follow along there with the straight axle GX470 project and all the other builds we do in the shop, and we'll see you tomorrow.